So <clears throat> that was 6-6. Six, six. Now we're going to do a different one, figure 6-7. You got uh, two branches, each with two resistors, and we have different pieces of information. So let's draw this. So this is a puzzle now, and these puzzles will check to see how well you know your uh, series and parallel circuit equations, how well you know Kirchhoff's law. You have to have the knowledge to solve the pieces, right? So we got voltage total, or VA for voltage allowance. We got R1, R2, R3, R4, and again, let's see what they gave us. And what they gave us, they did not give us VA, they did give us I total, and I total is 7 amps. So I got 7 amps of current. I total equals 7 amps. Okay, they gave us 10 ohms and 20 ohms on R1 and R2. 10 ohms and 20 ohms. <coughs> on R3, they gave us 12 ohms. They didn't give us anything for R4. So R3 is 12 ohms. R4 is a question mark. They gave us something else there. They told us that I1 was 3 amps, which means uh, current coming through this first branch is 3 amps. Well, the first thing I see that I want to do, the first puzzle I want to solve is Kirchhoff's current law, the nodal equation. If I know I got 3 amps coming this way, and I got 7 amps coming in total, that means I have 4 amps going that way, because all the current entering a node has to equal all the current leaving a node. Okay? So again, current in series is the same, so IR1 here equals 3 amps. IR2 equals 3 amps. IR3 equals 4 amps, and IR4 equals 4 amps. Okay, we're getting there. <clears throat> now I can solve for the voltage drops on three of these, because I got I and R on these, right? So VR1 equals I times R, 3 times 10 is 30 volts. Uh, IR2, no, VR2, sorry. VR2 equals I times R, which is 3 times 20. 3 amps times 20 ohms is 60 uh, volts. <clears throat> which means in this loop here, I have 30 volts plus 60 volts. I got 90 volts here. And so that tells me my voltage total is 90 volts. Because in this loop, it has to be 90 minus 30 minus 60 and leave me with zero. Kirchhoff's voltage flow in that loop. So now I know my total voltage. Okay. I can solve for VR3. VR3 equals I times R, which is 4 times 12, which is 48 volts, right? And I also know I've got 90 volts now total coming around. So 90 minus 48, and then 90 minus 48, what's that? So, uh, is 42. Okay, I know my VR4 equals 42 volts. 42 volts plus 48 volts is 90 volts. So this loop now makes sense. And I can solve for R4, because R4 is going to equal VR4 divided by IR4, which is 42 volts divided by 4 amps. Which is 10.5 ohms. We have solved for everything, and we have solved uh, this circuit with random unknowns. We didn't know all the resistors, but like a puzzle, we know our pieces. We know Kirchhoff's current law, the nodal equations at the nodes. We know Kirchhoff's voltage law, loops, that uh, total sum will equal zero. We know our series equations. We know our parallel equations, so we can solve with random unknowns.